What's up, good people? It's David here. Out for riding the big old marquee tonight. This might be a really interesting ride. This might actually be really rather interesting. Um, let's see here. And this car is huge. literally take a shoe off to drive this car. It's so awkward. It's so giant. I'm so used to the nugget. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go wash the car. I'm going to go, uh, stop at Goodwill and see if I can find something to break. Um, I'm going to find something to break and then, uh, get a tattoo and then go get something to eat and then be back for late night live. That is the plan. We'll see how that goes. That's, that's literally what I'm doing today. Sorry, I know the marquee is nowhere near as fun as the, the Thunder Nugget. Maybe come up for a cool, with a cool name for this car. It's just so cush. So... One, or the you, you barely touch the wheel, and it like you know, <clears throat> so responsive. This one, it's the, they're the exact opposite. It just feels so freaking big. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I talked to Willie May for a little bit uh, today. Uh, changed phone numbers and uh, man, she had me like just. Oh my goodness, I was losing my mind with her stuff. Like she was so sweet and innocent yesterday when I met her in person, and then last night when we watched her videos, that was. Um, other than an eclipse of a couple ones that she showed me that she was working on and one that she just posted. I didn't see that, like, self-defense course. The Willie Mae self-defense course. Like, hmm. Whenever I go into an establishment, I find the exits, and I know where the brooms are located. You never know when you're going to have to stick it in someone's face. Hit him with that broom. That broom action. Crazy. She was like, and if you don't have a knife... Then bring a machete. Why? Because the machetes are longer. Dang. Dang, Willie May. Savage. I had fun streaming yesterday, though. There was that was like three really fun streams. I really enjoyed that. Um, really did. The Nugget stream was fun. Uh, Late Night Live was fun. And so was Unsociable Hours. It was, it was actually pretty good. And it was wild, too. The past couple days, I've had... I've got, a t 
like a ton of phone calls, messages, things like that. Today, eh, not so much. Like today was just like work related and um, uh, had a, um, a question for MRN. I asked her, you know, sent her a few text messages. Uh, but other than that, it's been dead, which is weird. Some weird stuff. Oh my gosh, the uh, lady from the, um, oh, what was it called? What is going on up here? Here's the intersection where someone like tried to like run me over last night. And you can see there's a lot of activity up here. There always is. Like people are always acting the fool up here. Look at all this shit. See all this traffic up here? Like people always acting the fool at this intersection. This is where someone like pulled out right in front of me. Also, where the deer popped out in front of me about a week or so ago. I don't even know what I'm like, like literally not having to downshift and upshift and like. It's sort of wild driving this car. I haven't driven the marquee in weeks. Literally weeks. Well, I think I got a late day tomorrow. I don't think I. I think I have a short shift tomorrow. Might be able to stay up pretty late tonight. That'd be fun. I've been lounging all day for the most part. I haven't done nothing. I wanted to be out like seriously. I wanted to be out like doing stuff at like eleven o'clock this morning. Literally just now getting out. I don't even know what time it is. A little past five o'clock. Wild. I'm gonna check up with the chat. I see people are chatting, but I, I'm gonna check up with it here in just a second. I'm coming up to a stopping point here in a moment. But yeah, another beautiful night out here in Tennessee. Um, the weather's amazing. Um, like just wonderful absolutely wonderful gosh this car is gigantic I don't like it I don't like this car anymore. I really don't. The marquee's nice and it's got a purpose. I'll keep it, but I mean, this this car is this car is doo -doo -doo, 13 years old. Um, it's pristine. It is pristine inside and out. It's got. A, I mean, I guess well, I shouldn't say pristine. It's got a few little scratches here and there, but um, honestly, not much. It is. It is in beautiful shape and it's got such low miles and like mechanically it's in as far as i know it's in great shape i'm gonna have to get some tires here pretty soon but um i mean realistically i can do another year on these tires especially at the rate i'm driving it and i haven't been in the car washing forever she is this girl up here is just about flipping adorable she works so hard with that smile
All right, Jazz, hope to see you uh, later on. Oh, what's up, Jersey? What's up, dude? Oh yeah, the Marquis is always a smooth rider. I, mean, I love this car for what it is. Like I said, I'm going to keep it, but uh, I think what I would like to get, I want to get two more vehicles over the next year or so. I would really love to get a, um, oh my gosh, now I'm going to draw a blank. It's, uh, what is it, the SSR? S Gosh, the Chevy pickup. Hold on. It's that really slick looking Chevy pickup truck. This right here. I want one of these. I'd like to get one of those and then either that or uh, I hate it when it does this. Okay, we'll do that. Alright. Or Why is this in, okay. This is, some weird, this is a weird ass playlist. Or a Plymouth Prowler. Um, DMC 12. I've um, I actually had an opportunity to buy one of these not that long ago for um, about 30 grand in Southfield, Michigan. Literally, literally had everything in, in place, the financing, everything. And I didn't do it because I didn't have a garage to put it in. Now, the exact same, that very car is for sale um, for 60 grand. Talk about annoying. But the more I think about it, I mean, I have no place for it. It would be literally a waste of money. It'd be a waste of a DeLorean. Like if I had a garage or something, like, I mean, this is what this car, like, I mean, look at how sick that is. 
and it has nothing to do with about Back to the Future or anything like that. I'm not even. A, I mean, I like those movies; they're cool. But to me, there's just something about this car. Um, the new version of this vehicle is. Uh, where'd it go? No, not that. Why is it? Oh. I don't know if y'all know this or not. Have y'all heard of the Cybertruck? Um, not out yet, but, and I've already, I mean, if you haven't done this yet, and you're interested in this, hit order now. It is $100 to pre-order a Cybertruck. I did mine, shoot, last April, I think it was. Freaking love the Cybertruck. That shit's sick. Uh, comes out next year. I don't... Like, y'all, that is, that is just insane. Um, so, I don't know. I know that, that's such a... The Prowler's impossible to find. The DeLorean's, like, really needs a place to keep up um but i've been looking at this one it's just right down the road for me it's in this one is in murfreesboro tennessee uh, this is available um i had half a mind to go look at it but i just oh i like it i just now noticed that their um license plate says time travel looks like that's from arizona it says the car's in um yeah it's arizona this this dude is a gangster. Look at this. That's his personal garage. So he's got a lift there. Is that a Miata underneath it? That car has eight thousand miles on it. I mean, if I bought a car like that, I would drive it. I would absolutely drive it. It would just be my car. Like if it broke, I'd fix it. I would just, I would drive it. And so you can find these dudes like this. Like here's, this is crap. Like they made some of these, like there was gold ones, there was red ones, but, and that's cool looking, but it just needs to be the classic stainless. I think this one was painted. Like, who does that? The interior looks like full trash. Anyway. KD, what's up? A fox dragon. Oh my gosh. Yes. I would I would I would love a fox dragon. Oh, what the heck is this? Hello? Hello? that sound no it's not the marquee what the hell is that sound ok 
Okay. Oh, snap. Wait a minute. Oh, get out of town. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta get a little special guest up in here. Cool, that was very anticlimactic. Just got a message from Jack. He just passed his driver's ed test. That's my boy. I told him I was on, on a live with y'all, and I was like, dude, call and share the news. And he said, uh, my phone's on one, and I'm still at the place. Here, let's go, let's go to the Zen spot. And then I'm going to go, um, we'll go inside Goodwill. We'll find some stuff to break. I want to break some things. And then um, uh, we'll go get a tattoo, I think, and then get something to eat. So weird being in such a big car. All right, well, of course, I got a work call to take care of. Let's do this. Katie, how are you doing? Hey, what's up, MRN? <coughs> what's up? I'm gonna really try not to break any more body parts. Yeah, I have a work call. I always look. Anytime I do, anytime I do one of these driving streams, for some reason, um, I got a work call. So we need we need some help at work. So we're gonna see if we can find an employee. phone with TSB. What? You're on the phone with a teaspoon? TSB? What the hell does that mean? Long plaid shorts. What part of Michigan are you in? TSP, what does that mean? The state patrol, Tennessee State Patrol? I'm on the phone with TSP. I don't know. Well, the teaspoon, exactly. I'm good, doing pretty good, uh, KD, doing pretty good. MRN, what's up? How you doing? Check it out.
Yeah, Jack passed his uh, driver's ed course. I'm happy for him. About time. Should have got his driver's license a year ago. Jack's wild. He's fully wild. Um. He's something else, man. This youngster's like. He does a weekly spreadsheet of his assets and precious metals and collectibles and um, like if you were to see his bedroom, it's like insane. It is, he's a huge Indiana Pacers fan, which I am too. And I'm sure that rubbed off on him. But he has like, like extremely rare, like autographs and memorabilia. Like his, his bedroom looks like a, like an Indiana Pacers, like, museum or something like I would literally pay as a Pacers fan like 10 bucks just to walk and look at his shit like work, look at his stuff I should say he's got like Reggie Miller he's got like a a Happy Meal what was it a Happy Meal box from the late 80s or early 90s that is signed by Reggie Miller and he's got the fry the fry sleeve as well the fries came in that signed um Autograph cards, jerseys, collectibles, like, from Hello? Okay, that was interesting. Hello? Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I got you on speakerphone. What's up? Okay. Um, we are super duper slow. What do you think about us closing the six? Um, why? Not a good idea. I mean, just super duper slow. Well, hold on. Before we talk about that, you sent me a message saying that you you did an interview. Yeah, uh, I got a girl to come in. It's the same thing that's killing us, man. It's at ten dollars an hour, bro. But, but it's it's not. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I just we, we went through the whole deal. What what her problem is is she, like me. She pays child support, right? And she's currently making fifteen dollars an hour, but she works basically twelve hours a day. You know what I'm saying? And so, because she drives for some company down here, but. Um, the money for those two months that, that ten dollars an hour basically for the for those first couple of months mm. would o would only cover her rent. So I was like, man, you know, because she seems interested, she wants the job. It's just that that thing. And so I was suggested, I was like, look, you know, see if you can, you know, finagle some things, see if make family and maybe help you out for a couple of months, or you know what I mean? Because once you start making that commission, you know, you're gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? I, I oh yeah. You came here. I mean, what, what did you think, though? What do you mean? Like, would she kill it? Yeah, yeah. Um, she's she's definitely um, confident, and um, she, you, you can, she's personable, she's confident, and I can tell she's experienced, right? So she put me at ease. She would put me at ease if I was a customer. Um, and, you know, when, when I told her the vision that we're looking for, um, it really piqued her interest, which the vision is... Um, to have a store full of managers, right? Like, you know, everybody be able to, if, if there comes a position open, we we could be viable candidates just by applying, you know what I mean? So, right. um, that's, that's, um, she was definitely on board with that, you know what I mean? Um, she's used to getting into management. So, you know, the, the ability or the, not necessarily promise, but the ability to see um, is, is intriguing to her. But like I said, bro, she was, she's on board with everything except having to go, you know, without full pay, quote, well, unquote. You, you, did, you did explain that, like, you know that the, the training now is not, it's not a month. It's it's it's, it's, it's going to be like a right? week or two, yeah. like 10 days. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and, I, and I thought, she knows there's, a, there's a, a sign-on bonus, right? I did not know that. There is. And if, if it's someone really good... You know, that's a conversation we can have. Um, like, if it's someone um, we need. 
could you could you do me a solid, bro? Do me a favor. Could you call her and see like I, I get it, the money is light. There there's not much coming to to you know a, a new hire at the handset store, but like what would she need? Like what what would do you sort of dollar amount? No, no, no. Just oh, yeah, yeah, a dollar amount. Like, what, what would she need on that extra? Maybe her like her, her second check. Um. So the way she laid it out, to, and I will call it, but the way she laid it out to me is the difference is basically four hundred dollars a month, and that's exactly what her child support is. So she needs four hundred freaking dollars. Yeah. Dude, I mean, I will let her hold four hundred dollars. I'm not letting someone good walk away or or not come on it over four hundred dollars. Like, I know I knew you well enough to know that that's what you were going to resort to. I, so, I, I, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Well, I mean, when have I ever, like, the last person that, like, quit our store, I, I loaned them damn near that much money. You know, so. I, uh, I told her, I said, I said, listen, I'm going to speak to David uh, and let him know what your concerns are. I said, man, David is really creative. I said, you know, take, take a couple moments to see. You know, if you can come up with something, like I said, maybe family can help you out and loan you money or whatever. You know, I don't know your situation. Oh my God, they put the rent. I don't know your situation, but um, but I knew I knew that's what you were gonna offer. You knew, knew you it. knew it, huh? I knew it, bro. I told her, I said, David, is really, I didn't want to say, oh, maybe David can loan you some money, uh, right? But I was like, David's pretty creative, um, and and he has creative ways of fixing shit. So, you know, I'll be in touch with you. <laughs> I mean, if four hundred dollars is it, and you think she's good, bro, I mean, let's let's move her on up. I don't even need to look at her face. I I there's mean, a, there's a there's a hitch. though. I don't know if it's good or bad. Her and Jessica know each other. They used to work together. Like they know each other. Okay, well, I mean, you gotta remember, Ethan and Jessica. They're they're. I mean, they're from here. You know, everybody knows everybody. Mm -hmm. I think that you would you. Stop it. That's why I think Ethan is just hunched. Oh, months. oh, oh! I don't know about all that, but I don't know. I think that I swear. I think I, I think they did at least one, at least once. But that's just that's just sidebar gossip. Don't pay no attention on that. That is full intrigue, bro. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, four hundred dollars. If that's if that's the situation, I mean, I got. I got four hundred dollars all day long. I don't have a you know an extra sales rep. Because what she said was her rent was twelve hundred a month, right? Basically, she'd be pulling in. Basically, she'd be pulling in, and she's doing at ten dollars an hour, eighty hours, right? She's looking at seven forty, so we'll call it fifteen hundred a month, right? Mm-hmm. So I see what she needs above that. Yeah, just, yeah, I just, like, what, what does she need? What does she need? Like, because we know okay. she can, she can work as much. If she wants to work, you know, 12 hour days, shit, come in early and stay late. I don't care. I don't care. Right. Um, I'll reach out to her. I'll call you back. Call, call her right back. Call her right now. All right. Let's just call her on the phone. Let just leave you on speaker. Sure. Let's do that. Call from the the uh, storefront. Give me a second. We get to another. Mm-hmm. Did I just hear Ava Birch? From me? No, from uh from uh Cash. Um probably. MRN you're hired. Ten minutes north of Flint. <laughs> This is Anthony from T-Mobile. So um, I was talking with David, and I let him know what your reservations were. Um, and I told you he's creative. So mm -hmm. I, I crunched the numbers. You'd be basically at, at 10 dot well, two things. There's a sign-on bonus. I didn't necessarily know about that. So I don't know exactly what it is, but I know there's a bonus. It's 250 um, It's 250 Um he's, he's, I got him. You want one phone to him or other, so you got okay. him. Okay. Um, but so when I did it, you're basically looking at about $1,500 taxes. 
uh, for 80 hours a week, right? Uh, I mean, 80 hours of pay-per-view. Uh, I know you told me your, your what's the name, your rent was 12 So, you know, $300 a month ain't much to do anything else. What If you had to put a dollar amount on it, what would you need to be comfortable for those two months? Exactly what I told you. I mean, I can't go under what I'm making right now. So what are you what are you making monthly? I mean right now I'm making fifteen at forty at forty hours a week. So I mean okay, I'm bringing home right at six hundred a week. Okay. So I mean that's that's what I'm making right now. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay that brought home a $2,700 paycheck after taxes. Like, I, I can't, yeah. like, I, I just, um, okay. Um, okay. You gonna brainstorm a little bit? Me? Yes. No, I, no, I don't. I don't need to brainstorm. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, um, from what she just said, I mean, I, I think she could probably do really well with, with, with what we have to offer. Um, I understand okay. those initial couple months are tough, but, um, um, yeah, I mean, I get it and I appreciate it, but that's me down to 1500 a month. That barely pays my rent. I still got to put food on the table. I got kids to take care of. That's not, I mean, there's no way for two months I can make that work. It but. wouldn't be for two months. I mean, it, it, you wouldn't have to go that long for two months. Um, like our training used to be a month long. It's down to a week. Uh, like you would like what I'm, what I'm, what we're saying is we I mean Anthony I trust Anthony and um and your name's Kobe, correct? Correct. Hey, I'm David. I'm the store manager. Um Hi. we're looking nice for to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Um sorry I sound a little um sassy there a bit. Um sort of frustrated cuz we're trying to find one really good salesperson and we're willing to do whatever we can do to make, you know, make it happen. Um if you need what you, whatever you need, you know, let us know if, if you're interested in the position. Um, because uh, Anthony said, he, you know, he he had um, he had a lot of good things to say about you. Uh, so and uh, I, I looked over your resume and there's just there's just not many, you know, quality candidates out there. Um, we make really good money here at, at that store. Uh, we really do. And uh, I get it. Now, I me the money. I get where I can potentially be. Um, it's just going to be, I mean, so my biggest thing is, is but it's going to take the two months to get permission, correct? Yes and no. Okay, so you you will right off the bat like once you get done with with training, your ne your second check will have a sign on bonus. Okay, and that'll be two fifty. Uh -huh. um, we are we are actively working with other candidates that you know we, we don't want you to be hungry or not pay your rent. You know, so if there's something that you needed to get you through that, that is negotiable, is what I'm saying. Um, now, on top of commission, that that's that's one aspect of the pay. the The second aspect, outside of hourly, is your spiffs, um, and that's that can add anywhere from you know a hundred to a thousand dollars a paycheck, and, and you know and it. The whole thing is right now, Kobe, is that it's it's not like door to door sales. It's it's the holiday season, and our our busiest wow. time of the year is from November uh, all the way to March. Like where that's that's where we make a a good portion of our money each year. Um, so it's it's something to consider. Uh, but yes, it would it you if you started, let's say for example, two weeks from now, your your first commission check would be in January. Yes, that's 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 correct. That's when you get your first commission check, but you'd have an hourly check, you know, you'd have a, you know, you'd have your sign on bonus and you have spiffs as well. Um, so it, it's not like it's starting off. We, we do offer $10 an hour, but that is plus spiffs and plus commission. Um, and then we got sign on bonuses. And like I said, that bonus is negotiable. I'm just, my biggest concern is trusting the money right to the second. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to 
be in a place where I'm so stressed out because I don't know how I was going to get paid, if that makes sense. Right. So, I guess, all right, so. That is my biggest <clears throat> concern. Here, here's, okay. Let me just clarify one more time. Um, <laughs> what if money wasn't a concern? Like if I could, if it, if it was in writing, we could guarantee the money that you need to be comfortable. Are you talking I about mean, like? If it was guaranteed the money that I was making to be comfortable, then it would be a yes. And might might I ask what you're making now? I'm making fifteen an hour, working forty plus hours. Okay. Sometimes I work. 46, sometimes I work 58, it really just depends. Where, where do you work? Right now I'm a driver for Freeland, so I drive anywhere from Columbia, Tennessee to South Alabama. Do you like uh, doing that? Some mornings I leave out at 7 and don't get home until 7 p.m. Do you like being gone those long hours? No, I hate it. You hate it? I hate it. Okay, so you've got a job that you, you're not really super happy with, you're working long hours, would you like more time at home? What kind of hours would you like to work? I mean, complete honestly, I, as long as I had some kind of downtime at home, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm, I'm a workaholic, so that doesn't bother me. Yeah, and a lot of us at, at the if store hours are. hours is not my thing. I'll, I'll give you 60 hours a week if that's what you want. <laughs> no, I mean, that's that's the beautiful thing about this job is that Yes, it's a sales position, but it's not like you've got to like cold call or go. People come to us like when someone walks in that door, they're wanting to buy something from us. Um, and my whole thing is so you so you've got a job that you're not really super excited about. You don't like the hours. You do you live in Columbia? I do. Gotcha. Um, so like right now, um, one of my top sales reps is, is working 29 hours, 30 hours a week. Um, and she's, you know, she, she's, she's, she's making, gosh, her last check. I, I mean, I don't want to say exactly what it was, but it was well over $2,500 after taxes and the 30 hours a week, right. you know, she, she drops her kid off at school. She picks her up. Um, I mean, she's doing really well for herself. She has weekends off. You can, I mean, you can pick your schedule for the most part. My whole thing is, I think we're stuck on $5 an hour. Um, and I get that, I get that, but. But as like me and Anthony spoke too, I mean, I, I get to a lot of people, it sounds like $5 an hour, but that $5 an hour pays what I pay in child support every two weeks, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I, t I totally get it. I mean, I totally get it. Um, you know, I, I had an employee that, um, you know, uh, came to me last pay period and was like, "Hey, I just couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't make ends meet. Just, just couldn't make it, couldn't make ends meet." And, um, you know, I made a couple phone calls and we helped make those ends meet. So, it, it's something to think about. If, if you'd like to get with Anthony, um, uh, my whole thing is, if, if, if I sound like I'm being pushy or, um, like a, like a. I don't want to come off as an ass. Let me put it that way, uh, I, which I do often. Uh, but um, my whole thing is our last training class for the for the year starts in about a week, and you know right. we we really we were really excited about when, when we saw your resume and Anthony said you gave a good uh, interview and like I said we would be willing to work with you to make your ends meet and make sure that you were comfortable. You know I I, I don't know what else to say to that. I, Okay, so let me, Anthony, are you at work tomorrow? I am, I come in at 11 or 12. Okay, so I will get with you in the morning if that's good. Okay. Just let me, let me have time to process everything. Okay. Um, make sure I'm comfortable with it and y'all are comfortable with it, and then um, I can swing by and see you at the store in the morning. Awesome, that'll work. Hey, Kobe, Kobe. Okay. Hey, Kobe. Yes, sir. I come up with a number like like realistically you know I, it can be drastic but come up with a number that that you guys would be comfortable you you and your family and um seriously think about it okay okay and i'll be i'll be there tomorrow as well i'd, I'd like to meet you if you want to swing by okay that sounds great take care thanks Kobe. Okay. Bye.
Bye-bye. Dude. Well. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Dude, I'm about to lose my full shit. You know who she reminds me of? What? What was the girl that comes and visits you that used to work here? Joyce? Yes. Oh, I see. I already, I mean, no. No, Joyce is cool as shit. Kobe, that, like, dude, I, I literally said, like, what would it take for you to, like, to make this work? Like, what would it take? He's like, well, I make $15 an hour working 50 hours. Like, what the fuck? What did I just say? Did I say, like, explain everything to me? Or did I say, like, what would it take? Like I'm already pissed off at her. Yeah. Dude, I'm 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 telling you, tomorrow I, I am after today and after this past week, I am I am just wait. Just wait. I'm I'm bring some bread because I'm gonna bring the ham. Like we'll make sandwiches. <laughs> I am so sick of this shit. I swear to God, I can't stand this. Like I literally said, like, if if I ever gave an interview to someone, if I ever went to an interview and they're like, what would it take? Well, I make fifteen dollars, fifteen fucking dollars an hour. Whoop de fucking do. I mean, what did what did Jess make? Forty dollars an hour. Right. Oh, so narrow sighted. Oh my gosh. So annoying. That went over really good, didn't it? That went. Yeah, that I went over. It better than you think, though. Huh. But dude, that's I'm not even playing with these people anymore. I'm not even playing. I'm not even, like, new hires, they're going to get the worst of me right up front. And if they can deal with that, then maybe they can deal with me when I'm having a halfway decent day. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just, I can't, I can't do, I will not do this shit anymore. I'm not going to bend over backwards. Oh, you can't, you can't pay your bills? Oh, let me, let me go hard and get you what you need. Oh, oh, then you're going to leave? <sighs> Anthony, have you ever gone to a job interview and then... Uh, the managers call you back and they're like, you know, what, what would it take? I mean, what would it take? No. Mm, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Like, she didn't know the size of the checkbook. But her attitude right there. Why does she remind you of Joyce? Her aesthetic. Uh, she, has the, she has the, the same... Lockheed Field, she's about the same height. Well, she looks taller than uh, well, there. Anybody's taller than but, Joyce. Yeah, and then the haircut is very similar. I'm cool with that. I, I love Joyce. Literally love her. So she's. <laughs> one thing that's weird about her, she closes one eye at a time. <laughs> like, she I don't know, it's like her eyes, I don't know. They don't blink together sometimes. Well, I mean, I have to cover my left eye sometimes when I read things. Yeah, there's really just one thing I noticed. Cash closes both of his eyes when he's trying to come up yeah, with something you know. in his head. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting stuff. I didn't know you had me on speaker, bro, like right off top. I was talking oh, straight no, to good. you. Oh uh, yeah, I know I'm good, but I was talking to you and then she heard me. She's like and then like I got that sass a little bit. <laughs> it's okay. I'm I'm glad she heard it cuz that that was ridiculous. Like I was literally like looking at my Capital One app. I'm like, "All right, yeah, I I got her. Like I got her on this." <sighs> I don't I don't think she Got that, right? Like, let me let me rephrase that. I think she would want something in writing saying, We'll give you X amount of dollars this amount of time. Yeah. yeah. I just, you know, it's like if you're working those kind of hours, and it sounds like her job is shitty as hell, that sounds like a shitty yeah. ass job. Driving. Who she works for. Oh, she hates it too. Yeah, she. The guy she works for, he mistreats her. Uh, I mean. mean okay. Well. Um. Interesting. 
So she's got a job she hates. She doesn't like the hours. It's an abusive relationship, if you will. And then she's tripping about like, like what was she, what, did, what would, dude, the only reason I made that offer like that was I wanted to get her to a point to where I could talk to her where it wasn't about money. Cause that's what everybody throws up. Oh, well, you know, so, so short-sighted if you ask me. Oh, $10 an hour? Bro, you, you got like four different like revenue streams with this one job. Yes, like it's I had the same I had this exact same argument with my son last night. So I wanna hire him. You know what I mean? Where's he at? I'm not, not Anthony, not Anthony, Tyree. Uh, he's in Nashville. Let's I go. I said, bro, I said, bro, come stay with me for two months, get your money. He was like, Oh man, I'm you know, I'm making ten dollars an hour now. And I said, Yeah, and then you're gonna go make fifteen, fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour somewhere else, right? He was like, yeah. I said, bro, listen to what you're doing. You're passing up a dollar to get to a dime, nigga. Right? Like, those two are too much. You was going to work those for $10 an hour any fucking You see what I'm saying? Yes, I like, do. Like, just, yeah, I don't know why people can't get that. Because they're used to working hourly jobs, and it, it's just sad. It's just... I mean, thank you, McDonald's, for leading the way or something. Like, it, it's right. just sad. It's... They can't, they can't see, she could, she couldn't even grasp. Like when I said, I've got someone working 29, 30, you know, hours a week, making more in one paycheck than you're making a whole month. D did okay. you not hear, did you not hear $30 an hour lady? Did you not hear that? Like, or I'm sorry, uh, 30, 30 hours a week. Like that's, yeah. that's, you're working, you're like, I'll work. She's like, I'll work 40, 50, 60 hours a week. I don't need that. I don't even uh, want, I don't even want that mentality. Uh, I'm gonna talk to my son again. Please, he can start tomorrow. Seriously. Uh, matter of fact, let me call him now. He called me earlier. He uh, call him, dude. Yourself. Seriously, like, is his last? What's his last? Does he have the same last name? Say again. Does he have the same last name? No. Excellent. Good. Then we'll just leave that between us, and he can start tomorrow. I swear to God. I'll call him. Seriously, like we will. Is we it, will. Is my bonus is still there. Hell yes. Hell yes. And don't worry, Dave's checkbook is on, at the ready too. If we got to, I could use an extra. I could use an extra one of you. If he's anything like you, I'll take it. <laughs> he, he's a lot like me. The only, the only, the only thing that Ty, the only way me and Tyreek differ is he can be really short-sighted. But he, what I love about him is he does turn to me. That's like I don't have to. I don't have to get in this business. He'll sit down and be like, "Pops, can we talk?" You know what I'm saying? Like. He'll he'll come to me for counsel on situations. So even in the yeah. short sightedness, he knows what it looks. You know what I mean? Well, good luck. I mean, bring him on board. I mean, seriously, that's what I tried to do with Chris, and he was like, "No, I'm going to go in the Navy and kill people." You know, right. I'm going to make my yeah. six hundred dollars a week. Ugh. <laughs> I'm going to sell my whole entire soul to the government. It's all good, bro. Let me call. I'll call you back. Please. Good. Right. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back, Jazz. Let's go find something to break. I'm in a bad mood. Seriously, damn. Like, what the fuck? Like, if you tell someone, like, hey, you know... Have y'all ever had that? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a, hold on, let me shut this door. I don't even remember how to operate this vehicle. Have you, have y'all ever gone to a job interview and the hiring manager is like, what, what would it take? Well, I make $15 an hour and you start me off at 10. Yeah, 10 plus spiffs, plus commission, plus a sign on bonus and plus whatever the you need. What do you need? What, what do you need? I need somebody. I'm not interested in working seven days a week anymore. I will pay your ass to work. Like what you need. What's your number? Well, I make 15 an hour and I hate my job. Like, what do you say to that? You don't say that. What she said was so wrong. You say, damn, shoot, uh, huh, how about that? I would have been like, I need an extra thousand dollars a month. Well, <sighs> my job sucks. Like all that extra stuff she has said, like now I don't even, 
and I don't even really care. Where's the door handle on this thing? Get me out of here. Dang. What the hell was that sound? crazy it's not just her it's not just it's not like this is a one-off situation everybody's completely ridiculous these days like I interviewed a guy uh, I thought he'd be cool I met, I met him at the store I was like dude you know put in an application man we need help yeah I love this I love stuff I love technology I love this and that he showed 20 minutes late to the interview uh, yeah man sorry like looked blazed like his Eyes were as red as the 50% off tags. Well, that's just aggravating. And then my, my best salesperson is like leaving. for a time where like everything doesn't have to be annoying by default it's like i wake up and it's like oh your default settings are annoying please enjoy yourself oh this is what i need right here for kiki yeah fill every piece of this wireless pet fence what should we break i want something to break this 30 station random preset. That looks fun. Mm. I got open my, my workplace, my home, and my checkbook. That chick. Is this a Nintendo? Oh no. That's a Nintendo. I thought that was one of those. Never mind. You always, you always see anything you want me to buy and break. MRN, exactly, right? She says, shorty tripping. Like, seriously. I was like, what would it take? Well, I'm totally buying this and this. These light bibs. to say is what the F. something out here. Good old gateway. This will be fun, I bet. $20? Okay. Alright, so... They usually have cool stuff. I 
really want to break that, but that's actually like the most functional and cool piece of electronics sitting here. And let's do, I guess we'll do a monitor. Actually, Scan wizard. That's why I got some work done. I don't want these light bulbs anymore. No. I'm so mad right now. It's just Tommy Tippy. Got to Tommy Tip this. Play. I'm gonna go get some work in on this. Okay, now, I'm sorry, but these are cool as can be. I am not breaking these. The monitor's heavy on the mug. Give me these. These little S's. Oh, this makes me happy. I'm out of here. Monitor to break. Break some stuff. Tippities. This monitor is heavy as can be. I hope I know what my baseball bat's at. I'm gonna hit this with a tire iron. I'm gonna hit it right in its face. Monitor this. I love those glasses. Yeah. Awesome. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, how are you? Good, I see you here every time I'm in here. <laughs> I thought I had seen you before. Yeah. I'm usually in all pink. Oh, sorry. My name is David, what's your name? Tara. Hey Tara, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Take care. You too. Yes, I can. I can go back to the punish for sure. Uh. So I think I saw one that looks exactly like mine. I'd love to know how much it would be. I mean, I'll get it for you if you want. I'll mail it to you. I'm having a really bad day, Miss Helen. Like, a really bad... I'm having a pretty tough week. My best sales guy just sort of quit on me today. And then... Like, I'm trying to, like, hire some new people. I have been for a while. They're just being... Uh, here, let me set that down for a minute.
I know exactly why. I mean, he didn't necessarily quit. He put his notice in. Um, you know, he got promised more money at some other place. And I'm like, and this guy makes, the people that work in my store make great money. And when they don't get what they need, like I literally, literally just add extra to their paycheck. Like literally, like, oh, you're short $300? Okay, here you go. It'll take two days to hit your bank. Or worst case scenario, next paycheck. I should just show up. Um, what are we looking for here? Cannon? Like this one, the lid's off. So it's got a floppy lid. Which, actually, I just sticks right back in there. I've actually had that happen. Yeah, I'd be aight. There's a scanner bed on this one. looks really clean. Which one are you looking for, Miss Al? <laughs> That's... Yeah, this Epson down here. And this Camden. I would actually buy this if it wasn't. Oh, that's all sorts of jazzed. And actually, I should have looked at that. This crooked Sony logo. What is this? Oh, it's Sony. Um, I see how it is, Miss Helen. Maybe we do all this extra work. I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you. What in the entire world is this? What does this say? What is this? Wonder Woman's? Like, what is this? What is this? What does this say? Does it say shining? Shining? Shining star. Hmm. I feel like I should get this and stick it up on my ceiling. I actually come here to relax. That is so ugly. I just... <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that looks... Okay, no. one thing I wish the Goodwill had um, and for some reason like some of them do but a lot of the ones that I go to they have like you can go and get like a woman's coat woman's jacket you know all day long the men's stuff is like ridiculous and half the stuff oh my gosh what is not ridiculous what is this oh that's like there's no men's coats or jackets. It's like literally jackets. Um, heaven forbid you're cold during the winter. And a man.
So tonight we got the um, lunar eclipse. What do they call it? A um, what is it? A full beaver moon tonight? I'm serious. I think that's what it's called. A full beaver moon. I think that's the full moon in November. It's called a beaver moon, isn't it? Someone might need to fact check me. Fact check. October is the harvest moon, I think. I don't know. That is so nice out. It is like almost 70 degrees outside. It is wonderful. Yes. Yes. Score one for my brain. Ha <laughs> ha, beaver moon. Like, how do they, like, seriously, like, like, who looks at the moon and be like, you know what? It's an entire beaver moon. I wonder if I stopped and asked this lady right here, like, hey, how much money would it take for you to be comfortable? Oh, I, I, I don't know. No? No? wouldn't have the slightest clue. My goodness. I'm just going to stay hungry and look at the beaver moon. Come join us later, Jazz. I'm Pamela Bird. No verdict today in Kenosha. Details at 6.30 on Super Talk 99.7 WTN. All right, we always try to get good uh, guests on the show, uh, on the drive, as we drive you home and drive the liberals crazy. Uh, and earlier today, we had on Senator Marsha Blackburn, uh, and she talked a little bit about the situation we were just talking about, on the border. And she says, you know what? She agrees. It's not going to get any better until they tighten things up down south this is one of the reasons that i say until the southern border is secured every town's a border town and every state's a border state it is because of the amount of illicit drugs that are coming over that southern border this has been a problem uh president trump got it under control to a certain degree didn't eliminate it didn't get rid of it and didn't 
totally find a, a way to control it, but he reduced the amount of drugs because he gave the Border Patrol what they were asking for, the building of a wall, better technology, more agents and boots on the ground. Yo, this is just random stuff on the radio. I don't know what else to listen to. I totally forgot how to even work this radio, to be honest. You have had unprecedented amounts of... Ooh, hey, there's a tattoo shop. Representative Green uh, talked a little bit about what's going on right now in the House where they're looking at that reconciliation bill. CBO is supposed to come out with its official rendering of exactly what the bill is going to cost. They put things on hold to find out what the CBO score was. But it's beginning to look like that number is going to be very, very large, much larger than advertised. And uh, they're going to try to push it through before the number comes out now. Here is Congressman Mark Green. Nancy wants to start debate on this thing tomorrow. CBO has not completed. They, they scored, I think, eight of 13 committees this, this uh, late afternoon. And what we're hearing, it's going to be a monster, much bigger than they predicted, and probably more in line with some of the nonpartisan. I mean, even the New York Times today came out and said it's going to cost double. Uh, UPN's Wharton School of Business said it's going to cost double. And, and so they, if they're going to pass, that they've got to pass it before the real number comes out. They haven't even read the bill themselves. There, there's no time for any Democrat to have read the bill. Uh, what you eating right now, MRN? What you eating? I'm sort of hungry myself. Fettuccine Alfredo. Hello. Hey, dude. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, how you doing? I'm good. Dude, you should have just heard the wild conversation I had with Anthony just a moment ago. What? That Kobe chick. So yeah. I literally asked her, we had her on speakerphone. I was like, yo, check this out. Cause she was like, oh, I'm making $15 an hour, you know, working like 60 hours a week doing some crappy job I hate. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, so, what? I was like, so what, what, what would it take? What would it take for you to come on board? And she's like, well, I make $15 an hour. Like I, I'm, I didn't say like, like, what are you working? What are you making? I was like, what would it take? And she wouldn't even answer that question. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway, is Bright, anyway, the reason I called you, dude, is Brightmore tattoo any good? Brightmore? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, they're good. This place is packed. Yeah. Yeah, they're really good. They um, did a couple of my friend's sleeves. I'm going to get a sleeve real quick. I'm going to get handsets. Okay. I'm just kidding. Are you? Oh, I thought you were actually going over there. I'm here. I'm sitting in their parking lot right now. Oh, yeah. They're always packed, bro. I'm probably going to have to make a damn appointment, aren't I? Yes, you are. There's no question about that. Well, then I guess we'll just get that done. Um, dude. Uh, oh, you're off tomorrow. Shit. <laughs> bro, I got... Um, I got some. I got some art. I want you to do for me. I got a tattoo. I want you to draw for me. And I got. Um, I got a smallish painting. I want you to do for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Right on, bro. All right, I'll All let right. you go. But that's that's what I wanted to know. Um. Uh. Yeah, dude. All right, I'll talk to you later, bro.
so that's a no on that Kobe chick. Dude, I got I got I, I I about lost my mind on her, like in her full face. Like I'm so glad that um, it was over the phone and not in person. Because honest to goodness, dude, like when I asked her, like what what would it take, and she's like, nah, well, nah, nah, um, nah. like. She was hung up on the ten dollars an hour thing. It's annoying. It's just stupid. Seriously, I mean. Anyway, I'm still mad at you though, so I gotta let you go. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm All right. Let me just fucking with you, bro. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'll I'll call you tomorrow. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. Dude. Okay, um, I do want to add some numbers into it, like, uh, like, like, how big? Like, how big? Like, how big? Like, Right, yeah, and I mean, I didn't want to be super small. Um, but yeah, just like an outline, and I got like three numbers in each one. Uh, yeah, three numbers in each one. Yeah, yeah. Not just family problems, they can't 
I served with the air before they went. Okay. If I didn't get to go, then there's been a hole inside of me. So it's like you should have been there with them. So I want to do something special to honor them. This is exactly is it literally a free? One of them. Let's watch. <laughs> um, um, like, I mean, yeah, that's small. That's like sort of what I didn't want to do. Yeah, I small. Okay. Um, I mean, but can that be done on the list, though? Oh, yeah, I mean, there's been done on the list. It's just like, 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 how big do you think? I would actually have to, like, draw it out and see, just to make sure, because I would have to know exactly what the style of letters you want, and the numbers you want, and the numbers you want, and the numbers you want. So there's millions of different ways you could do just typewriter. And if you did just, right. so like this, that would bleed in that stuff we did it that small. You know what I mean? Like it, that's the reason why, I mean, it can't, it just, I wouldn't even know unless I did it. You know what I mean? But I can surely tell you, it definitely would never work that way. It's going to have to be maybe like, the numbers themselves are going to have to be, I'm guessing between from like here to, here may be bigger than that. Just the numbers themselves. Hmm. I didn't want it to be that big. Can we just do the triangles? I can do just the triangles. Yeah. If you want to do that right now, I'll need you to fill this out for me. My name is David. What's your name? David is Patrick. Patrick? Oh, nice to meet you. You having a good day? Um, no. <laughs> no, I'm not, man. Well, that's not good. It's been a little frustrating, but I'm good. I get that. I have days like that, too. I have high blood pressure, is that going to be terrible? It's not here, man. It's not like this, man. Son, you're all up. I signed the order. We gave the court's attention. Is this the first tattoo? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh yeah, for sure. He came up with that, not me. I'm getting, um, I'm getting pyramids. I'm getting triangles all over it. Um, I told them I wanted some numbers. I want to put lucky numbers inside the inside the triangles. And that, that, that was a number that he wrote down. It was 333. I was like, you really just did that?
Yep. Got a question for you. What's up? I'm a YouTuber. Can I live stream this? Yeah, go for it. Yeah? Sweet. Can I set this right here? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. You're Patrick, right? Yeah. I'm hey, David. Well, nice to meet you, David. So what all you do on YouTube? Mostly music stuff, oh, like karaoke nice. things. Um, you ever heard of Johnny D? I have actually. I think I have. Is he a guy? Oh, okay. Uh, the older guy that does the YouTube, uh, the karaoke scene and stuff. I think so. I think I've heard of it. I don't know if I've ever watched it. I think I've definitely heard of it. I'm not that sure. I'm definitely not Johnny D. But... Oh. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, I do music stuff. Um, I have a. Um, smart car that's modified that I drive around and do videos with that. Oh shit, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. I like it, it's fun. Can you make a cool living off of it? No. <laughs> I just... For a hobby? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I think it's always good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to shave you up. Come on, I'm going to need you. You're from Michigan? No, I mean, I have family from up there, but I'm, I'm not. I just got this because I lost the one one day. I was up in Michigan and I was in school. I'm, 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 I just drove down here from Michigan. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 That one down. Oh, uh, okay. Up, sure. up to me. Then. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. <laughs> what part of Michigan are you from? Um, I'm not really from Michigan, but I, I'm, I'm just right outside of Detroit. Oh, nice. I've been there for about four years. That's cool. Sort of. The owners of this place are from Detroit. Are they? I noticed by the sign, that's why I stopped, actually. Oh, nice. Cool. Mm -hmm. How long have you been down here? Mm -hmm. About two years. Oh, sure. Nice. What part of uh, Tennessee are you staying in? Holyoke. Oh, nice. You like it though? No. You don't like it, do you? I'm not a happy camper. <laughs> I get that, bro. I'm the manager of the local school. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It could be way worse. I love my job. I really do. I just can't find anybody to work. That's most places these days. So I think it's kids, it's, you know, these years. I've never gone to a job interview and like, well, what would it take to get Fringo on board? $2,000. Yeah, then what the fuck? Why mm -hmm. can't she give you just a number? That's weird. She couldn't do it. That's cool. All right. Well, I'm going to let those drop for a minute. Okay. Uh, they might drop pretty quick. I don't know how dry your skin is. It's pretty dry. You a crusty guy? I'm a crusty guy. You know it. <laughs> I love your shirt, that's pretty cool. Dude, I fucking love this. I found it on Facebook. So, no kidding? Um, yeah. I also got another shirt on Facebook that's pretty lit. It's a bunch of flowers and shit in mm -hmm. blue. It's kind of like yours, but like long sleeve. It's pretty cool, it's weird. That's, um, I love shirts. I have a wild shirt collection. That's good. How long have you been here? Uh, I've been here for probably about a year and a half, to a little bit longer than that. Kind of in between. I've watched a lot of people work on the thing. How are you Where's all your old tattoos at? I've got one on my arm, one back here, and then another one on my ankle. Oh, cool. The ankle sucks, so you're yeah, it, it was rough. I heard the <laughs> wrist is not much fun. I, mean. I don't know. I mean, I don't have many people complaining. I'm pretty bad handed.
I'd like it. Actually, I do it just because I really actually, it's, it's a lot of fun to me. Um, I don't do it for money or, you know, views or whatever. It's just, I just really actually really love doing it. Well, that's the only thing I really love doing it. If you don't do stuff that you love, it was support, you know? Right. Well, on top of that, too, I've made a lot of really good friends. I've got, and just the other night, I had, so part of my, like, live stream that I do, I put out my phone, I got a phone number, like, set aside for it, an email, oh, nice. and I had, um, I had people from, like, four different continents reach out just to say hi, you know, it's, it's been pretty cool, like, to meet all these different people. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been awesome. So they all do the same stuff as you? Do people reach out? No, not necessarily, you know, they just, you know, seem to enjoy the show, so... Check out that channel and see what it's about, man. Yeah, I'll definitely make sure you get the link. I love the way that looks so much. I've been wanting to get this for a long time. I'm glad I got to do it, man. I love doing like these random, I've always wanted this kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't like, um, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. It's more symbolic than anything. That's cool. I mean, those are the best ones to get in some bar things. Mm -hmm. I, they, I hate the fucking Pinterest tattoos, dude. They get so old. Which one? The Pinterest tattoos. You know, like, stuff you see on Pinterest, and people are like, Oh my god, it's so cute. Like, get something original. Mm -hmm. Come on. Like, this is different. This is cool. But what's the symbolic meaning behind it? Um... When my plan takes away my right hand from kids. Yeah. Um, okay. Never heard that in before. Yeah, it as well. Mm -hmm. Is that a, is that from like a different religion or culture? Or? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure probably, but I don't know. It's just something I personally believe. Oh, okay. Um, it's just one of those things I've always wanted to have done, you know, I, I, I believe like, um, oh gosh, yes, there is, um, like in a lot of religions, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, you know, beliefs that it, it's, the right side is the healing part, you know what I mean, and that's, that's you know, and the, and the left side is sort of the, uh, evil part, I guess, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about now. I mean, I get that. Um, and then the, the symbolism of the pyramid, you know, you can't really get past that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Absolutely love that. And we also do one free touch up. So if it does fade for a while, I'll touch up for free. Sweet. How much do you guys charge for piercings? Um, it really depends on the piercing, but your average piercing is like $25. I don't really keep up with all that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
think they are right here for us as well. Oh, nice. Now, I think they sell you the jewelry with the cost of your yeah. okay. You can either, if you want, you can just kick spin it or I can. I can spin it? Yeah. Maybe. There we go. You ever used one of these saddle chairs before? No. Man, I highly recommend it. You'll never, you'll never complain. That would actually be really sweet. Saddle chair, that's what that's called. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's designed to be just like a cow saddle, a horse saddle, and you can get them small like hers, or like wide like mine, and then make it to where I'm like, like dude, that's still uncomfortable. Like, I'm just like, kind of like forced to sit up straight. It's pretty neat. That's cool, man. Because like, when you lean forward, it spreads your legs out and makes your body like tighten up, you know what I mean? Sit up on that computer and do different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on my live streams, I use a computer and I don't have a chair because I have, I live in a tiny home. So, uh, and that's where I record from. And so my little studio space, there's there's not even enough room for a chair. Uh, so I have to like, sort of like, punch over, or, you know, kneel down on the ground. Yeah, that sucks, baby. Yeah, but that's actually a good, I'm um, gonna we'll check that out. Definitely, I mean, I, I spent maybe, I think like, 80 bucks on it. Amazon, I think? Well, that's not bad at all. No, not at all. I mean, honestly, yeah. like, it saves me a lot of that back hurts. Because I hear about all these artists complaining about their backs. I don't have any of them. You guys stay pretty busy, don't you? Yes, maybe the first things. Uh, mm -hmm. You'd be surprised, dude. Like so many people get piercings all the time. Like, and it's always the same people giving you something different. And it's like, why? Conversation about that that particular number, and then the, like I'm not even kidding you. We had a conversation for like two hours today about numbers. Like That's that was so that was pretty wild that you picked that out. I was like, what the heck? Three is a very magical number. It um, is. I, it is for both her and I. Like, um, it. it's just interesting. Um, to me, I feel like three is the most repetitive number in the universe. Like, you actually think about nine percent of the numbers you can find them all by three. Mm -hmm. Every one of them. The size of the planet, the way it rotates around the sun, all of it. You can buy all of it back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
wonderful man. I absolutely love this person. I appreciate that. You're playing off with you. Definitely appreciate it. And if you want, so I don't have any more business cards that I actually have in my own way, but my girlfriend is a curly haired girl sitting back there, and I can give you her business card. And she was fucking phenomenal. Like, she painted all these except okay. for that bird right there, and I actually did that. But she did everything else. That you see. She's really cool. She, yeah, she's badass. Like, she painted herself as a kid right there as a portrait. Um, she did that. She did that. Um, she did that one right behind the door on her iPhone, actually. When she was like. Which one? 12. It's. Did that on her iPhone and blew it up. No kidding. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. Um, if you want, you can actually take a couple of them. Yeah, man. You can definitely find me off her page if you scroll enough or go to her Facebook or something. But yeah, she's awesome. I, I highly recommend her. She does realism and color realism and all. I'm nice, man. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you, dude. Like, I really do want to check out that page. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, we have business cards in the front if you want to write it down on the back. I got you. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll meet you up there. All right. Hopefully one day we'll all be running around with this white hat. Out, man. Looks great, man. I love it. He did a really good job. It's sort of lopsided, but it's not. It's perfectly straight. Huh. Okay, thank he you. He actually blew like a Rhode Island size patch in my paint on my car. Like I've got it. Really? I've got a 15 year old grand marquee that's like in perfect condition. And this guy came to my store and he's like, let me let me get you taken care of. Um I let him do it. He, he begged and begged and begged. But there's there's I mean you can see the car. There's like a piece of paint missing this this he's, he's like, oh I didn't do that. Well, I was like, um she, she didn't. Probably, like seriously, yeah. bullshit. I believe you like this dude. I watched him detail some of these guys' cars up here, dude, and it was fucking bullshit. I prank called him at like three o'clock the other night. <laughs> I do prank calls sometimes on my channel. That's funny. I story. did. Okay. I'm serious. Okay. I definitely gotta check your channel. Shut up, Austin. Alright, check this. He is a fucking idiot. I'm fully agree. I'm glad that you fully agree with that. <laughs> I gotta forget, sometimes I forget I gotta be polite in front of customers about certain people. I'm like, ah, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so what that's my personal channel. If you just search on YouTube or Google in general, that you'll find me. That's my personal channel. Okay. And that's the other one I work on. Okay, nice. Hell on yeah. both of them every single night. Well, I'll definitely check that out here. Like, seriously, I really will. I appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, man. And, um, I do not want to work on my child anyway. Uh, I just hate you. If you need his right to him, there is more than that. He's a change man. Hell yeah. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. You have a great night. You too. And if you Take ever want to come up and just chat or just message the Facebook page about something, you always message us. We'll always answer. Yeah. Like, right on, man. Any question we can. I appreciate it, dude. No problem. Take it easy. You too, dude. Thanks. Oh, the moon is very full right now.
This is what George the Wonderful All right, so got that done. Moving right along, just just plowing right through this to-do list. Shoot, I can still catch um, still I'm gonna go get a margarita and an enchilada from from the Mayan Riviera, y'all. Every piece. Um, so this is something I've wanted to have done for a long time. Very simplistic. Um, I wanted to put numbers in it, but he was like, no, and, and he was probably right. But what I've I have another tattoo where I actually have things where I write on them. I know that sounds weird, but, um, gosh, they look so crooked there. They're not crooked at all. Why does it look weird? Eh, they look wonderful. They're perfectly centered and look wonderful, but when I show it on here, they look crooked. That is so weird. You did a really cool job. This is maybe how I turn my hand. I love it so much. That's what I'm all about. You guys enjoying this beaver moon? Um, right hand that there's a it's a pyramid. The it's pointing upwards. Um, uh, yeah, it's give and take. He did like that's one thing I'm really worried that's one thing that's always bothered me about like or concerned me about like really really like um fine line tattoos like it's so easy to make them look goofy and I mean he did a perfect job he did a really good job actually this is actually the first time I've got a tattoo and looking at him like wow I'm pleased with this and it's super simple, but it means a lot to me. And I hope that I grab my bracelets and stuff. Yes, I did. Yes, Mers. Hey, what's up, Nelson? How you doing, dude? Uh, the Brightmore Tattoo Shop. You know what? I am not going to the Mayan Riviera. I am going to go to another Mexican restaurant. It's right up here that I've always wanted to try. I think I smell bad. I can't tell if that was me or, or, or dude. No, it definitely was me. Definitely was me. I think it's this jacket. It doesn't smell bad, it smells weird. I think I grabbed the wrong bubble jacket. Yeah, this is the one that sat in a bag for a year. That's what that smell is. Like, what is that smell? That is, oh no, that, oh, wait a minute. Well, that smells good as hell. That was definitely me, though. Definitely me. Because I smell bad from time to time. Look at the Taco Express. Look at this. 
Look at this full extravaganza. Look at this quality. I am going to literally try the stuff out of this place. Full on sample. I'll take my iPad in. Although this place seems rather suspect. Hell yeah, Patrick was cool as shit. I'm really happy with these. I'm glad I didn't fill them in. I'm really happy with these. Like I'm sitting here looking at them, trying to like find flaws with them. I could never be a tattoo artist. That would be so weird. Like, I could never do that. I mean, you couldn't have a bad day at work. I mean, I guess you could. I've seen plenty of bad tattoos. This place looks disgusting. Uh, the guy I just talked to, when I called him and asked him, like, if Brightmore was any good, Eric, he is one of the coolest artists I've... I mean, he, he does amazing work. Um, he does amazing work. Some of the best artists I've ever met in my life were tattoo artists. Well, I'd imagine they'd be artists first and then tattoo artists second. Tattooists. There's no way a place called Tacos Express is as good as, you know what, hold on. Wait a second. Hmm. What time is it? I got an idea. Hey, Jimmy, glad you hopped in. It's good to see you, man. Um, here, I don't know why I have the camera facing the... Um, I've always been big into Egyptology. Um, so the pyramid shape has always meant a lot to me. Um, and so, like, I don't know, I just... I got into an in-depth conversation today, and I was like, you know what? I want to go ahead and get these. I think they look cool. It's super, like, and if, I'm not a huge fan of tattoos that, like, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of visible tattoos, um, but, you know, you can't see them. It does, it does sort of sting a bit. Hmm. But, um. Hold on, let's, let me make a phone call here. I got an idea. This might be fun. Yo. Hey, what you doing, man? Uh, close. Who's with you there right now? Cash. Cash, um, is um, Sharika, is she coming to pick you up? Do you have the car? I have the car. I was, um, I'm sitting over here at Taco Express. Um, you want to grab a drink or something? Yeah, I'll do that. You want me to meet you over there? You want to go to um, uh, Salsa's? Where is it? I don't mind. Where is it? 
Do you want to go to the place like... I'm, I'm craving a margarita and some Mexican food. Cochino Reality, a better bet. Where's that? My food lion. You want to go all the way out there? I don't care. When does, when does Shrika get off? She's already home. You want to meet me out there? You want to meet me over at Taco Express? What's Taco Express at? Because I heard they got me some margaritas too. They, I, that's what I've heard too. Um, they're just right on, <clears throat> right across from, um, they're on the same side of the road as the, the Dodge dealership, right next to it. Um, what is this? Uh, James Campbell? James Campbell and Carmack. Okay. Yeah, I'll go. I'll meet you over there. I mean, you don't have to. You sound depressed. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm still trying to figure out where it is, but I can GPS too. Dude, it's, um, you know where Shoney's used to be? Yeah. Right across the street, man. Okay. Right, right next to O'Reilly's. Like you got this. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, um, tell about. Cash you can come too. Gotcha. Yeah. I'll, I'll, first round of drinks is on me. Okay. All right. I, I got you. All right. I'll see you. All right. Backup is in route. Anthony's my dude. I don't know if y'all have ever met Anthony. You gotta meet Anthony. It, it, it is gonna be worth hanging out. He is one of the coolest, smartest dudes I've ever met in my life. Um, this guy has been through it all, too. And um, when I took over uh, my store, when I got my promotion, I mean, the whole team is awesome. But one of the first things that... Um, no decision with you know because I was the associate manager and became manager so obviously I replaced the manager so we lost both the whole management team was gone in in a, in a sense and um, I took the big chair and um, it was it wasn't a tough decision but um, Anthony's Anthony's awesome He's, um, he's been through it. I guess I'll let him tell his story, but he's been to, uh, he's been shot a couple times. He's been to prison. Um, man, you would never think that talking to him. He is literally maybe one of the smartest people I've ever met in my life. MRN says, never judge a book by its cover. Yep, very true. So hopefully I don't take too long to get out over here, which is just right down the road. My chest feels so much better today. Yesterday it was terrible. Like it still hurts, but <coughs> I just needed a lot of sleep. Um, <coughs> I know yesterday it was miserable. Yesterday, it hurt worse than it had prior. I did take some ibuprofen. Maybe that's why I feel better. It still hurts. I'm still going to do late night live tonight. Um... Let's call, let's call Jack real quick. Hello? Yo, yo, hey Jack, uh, I got you on speakerphone. Um, I'm, I'm, I got a live stream going. What's up? Not much, man, how you doing? Yeah, I'm just I hear you did something good today. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Uh, I asked my driver's, or not driver's, my, my, my exam or something like that, my written exam or something. Something, something like that. Just generally something. A general yeah. scoop of passing. A good passing yeah. scoop. Good job, man. Thank you. Like, seriously. Good job. Um... 
so was that so was that the, the first module are you done with that is it the, um I've, after two more drives i'll be done with it okay um what you what y'all doing right now i'm looking at the the bags i just got oh dude what is up with those hold on we don't have to go into that like i said we're live streaming right uh, i'd like to not yeah um Yo, what's up? Hey, any idea why we're $200 short on the cash box? Yeah, because we had to take money out to do a refund. Did Eric okay. not explain that? No, not at all. He didn't say shit about it. <sighs> Damn. Okay. I, um, I just needed to know. We just got to short the deposit $200. Have you already done the deposit? Uh, I mean, I got them typed out. I didn't actually put them in the... I didn't actually put it in the in, the, in, in the, DTS. Uh, well, thank goodness you count, counted that because that that was, dude. He called me first thing this morning. I was like, bro, like just make sure you let you know let them know that that's going to be light. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. How much money would okay. it take? You know. So, uh, one ninety seven, and what was first deposit? Uh, so, hold on. We have a spit receipt, please, sir. Okay, so, one ninety seven forty. One ninety seven forty seven plus what was it? You still there, Jack? Yes, sir. All right, one second. It's so for my deposit, no, what's all right? I didn't hear you. What'd you say? What do I write for my deposit, no? Just uh, had to give a had to give a cash refund. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give a cash refund and just put the two hundred back in the in the change box and um. It is what it is, man. So I put the I put the real numbers in based off of the receipts, and then I just put a note in the in the deposit. No, bro. Uh, so you're going to short the deposit two hundred dollars. Okay. All right. So how much do we have for a sprint deposit? Sprint deposit was one fifty four. Okay. How much for a T-Mobile deposit? One ninety seven. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Gorgeous, actually. Yeah. Um, <sighs> DTS puts them all together at the end. That's true. Just take... Do zero for T-Mobile and take $3 out for Sprint and roll with that. And then just put cash refund. So, well, 40, 47 cents for T-Mobile. You know, don't don't confuse me, Anthony. No, forty-seven for T-Mobile and three minus three. Spread. All right, I got it, bro. All right, y'all hurry up. Come on, is Cash coming? Uh, no, he he's, uh, he had something playing with uh, Anna. I mean, with uh, uh, his old lady. Tell him he can come out and have a drink with us for crying out loud. Yeah, I don't speak. Cash. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, because I often go out drinking with y'all. All right, I see how it is. All right, bro. All right, bye. What's up, Jack? You're in the car. Yeah, I'm in the car. Why? Just not in the car. I'm in the car. I've fully been in the car for some time now. Are you on YouTube? No. Oh, then how do you know I'm in the car? I heard the car. Which car did you hear? 
the nug. No, you didn't. Nope. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. That's the marquee? Yes. Ah. You would definitely hear the nugget. Jackson, I hate Tennessee. I hate Tennessee. I swear to God, I hate this place. Oh my God. Huh? Why? Cause it's Tennessee. I don't know. It's just it's just aggravating. I shouldn't say I hate it. I don't hate it. I just really am not super fond of it right now. I'm just so aggravated. Like my best guy is like, basically told me today he's quitting. Why? Uh, you know, I'm not going to go into it. I'm on a live stream, but, um, Anthony? no. No, Anthony's not my best guy. He's he's like that. That's my guy. Eric. Yes, sir. Yeah, I didn't even have to name names. You knew. Oh, if Anthony left, I'd leave too. F that. Go get a job, and I just wouldn't even. I just I would live off of savings for a good period of time. I would travel. Oh shoot. Mm-hmm. So we we had this girl lined up. Um, great resume, good fit for the job. At least we, we all thought so. I told Anthony, I was like, you know, get her in, do an interview. Um, he does. And he's like, yeah, she'll be a great fit. Blah, blah, blah. Only problem is, it's the money. Like, okay, what does she need? Basically, over like each month for the next, for the first two months, you'd be short like four hundred bucks. I'm like, okay, so I could have my days off and things like that. Like, what she needs to hold four hundred dollars? Like, shoot, you know, I got you a scoop right here. So we called her up and I asked her like flat out, like, what what would it take? What would it take? You know, what what's your dollar amount? <laughs> So annoying. She didn't know her dollar amount? What? Like, if you went to, like, okay. I understand you're working your first, like, job, job. But let's say, for example, you go and you, you interview for, for a position, okay? You don't, you don't know if it's something you want to do. You don't know. And, you know, you do the interview and they're like, cool, whatever, we'll be in touch. And they call you back a couple hours later with the boss on the phone, like, and the boss says, hey, Jack, um, you gave a great interview with my associate. Basically, what, what would this, what, what is this money dollar? What, what's your dollar amount? What, what, how much money do you need? How much money do you need? What would, would you give them a dollar amount? Would you say, no, nah, well, I make 15 or, oh, oh, my job, my current job sucks. Or would you, would you give them a dollar amount? Um, I give him a dollar amount. Right. Right. Well, at least I know you had proper parenting. Anyway. I got a tattoo today. Really? Yeah. What was it? I got a face tattoo. It's a crescent moon um, right over my left eye. And then I got, I, I actually got two, and then I got a beaver on my right eye to celebrate the beaver moon tonight. <laughs> Why'd you think I'm joking? Yeah. Pixar didn't count, bro. Mm. 
you know, I got I got um, I got a pyramid, two pyramids, one on my each one of my wrists. My right hand is facing up, and on my left hand is facing down. And I really like it. They did a good job. Yes, I've been live streaming for quite some time. But anyway, what is I'm it? I'm all up the internet. That is so exciting, I can't even stand it. All right, well, I gotta go meet some friends for drinks, so I'm going inside this restaurant. I'm gonna sit out here, waiting for them, their ass to get here. What? All right. Um, Jack, I gotta get with you. We gotta pick out your flight. Um, I am putting you on the, you're getting the Toilet Seat Express. Hello? Jack. Hey, what's up, big guy? KD, welcome back. <clears throat> Do you see my tattoos, KD? Gigantic car. Oh, this place looks festive. How festive that taco looks. Oh, 
bad looking. I'm just, I'm just waiting for somebody. Um, let me place our order here. Do you guys have margaritas? We do. Okay, can I get one of those? Can I see our heat plate? You want, you want the regular one? Whatever kind's the best, you know? The regular on the rocks. You want salt or no salt? Salt, please. I mean, I'm gonna order some food, but I'm, I'm waiting on a friend to join me. Okay. Can we go ahead and pay now? No, you can pay at the end. Alright. Alright. Uh, right? Yes, please. Chimichanga. Sounds good. I know it sounds so good to me right now. I'm not even a big tequila fan, but it does sound good. They have hats on the ceiling. I've never been to a sit-down restaurant where you gotta order at a counter. No, actually I have. I have. Hi. Hi. Thank you. No, no, I'm right here. Do you want to have some? That'd be wonderful. Yes, thank you. Do I want chips and salsa? Please. Look at this festive cactus glass. Yeah, I'm waiting for Big Homie. Yep, that's... I'm waiting for Big Homie. But while I wait on Big Homie, I'm gonna have this Big Homie beverage. Wow, that is good. Um, hmm. Thank you.
So festive. <laughs> the drink's good, but I don't know if it's strong. It needs to be strong. This is a strong drink kind of night. I got this DJ that's live streaming over here. And he's actually really annoying looking. He's enjoying himself way too much. Bad cash isn't coming out. He's pretty fun. Katie, it's full of bubbles. Full of bubbles. It's all bubbles. like <clears throat> to each their own and everything but the more I do this the more y'all meet my friends um, you're gonna realize that you won't see that I don't I don't hang out with Bubba's I'll show you Quick-witted Bubba. I wasn't expecting him to be so sharp on his, with his, with his eyes. I went around the corner. There's a whole den of Bubbas, a Bubba den. Right around the corner. That's what that young juvenile's trying to say is Bubba. You see that creature? I really hope my backup arrives soon. Oh my god. I'm sorry I gave them bugs at my place the name full creature because I should call the like that is full creatures. Actually, full creatures will be the bugs. These are entire creatures.
I just watched a girl put two chips in her mouth at once, salsa and queso. She hit herself with a double up. right there, my man. Oh, you never got to say hi to everybody. Hey, what's up, people? This is Anthony. Hey, everybody. How's it going? How's it going? Why does my face look like it? My camera. <laughs> I know. I know. That's <laughs> So this place is weird. What do you mean? You gotta go up there and like order it? Yeah. Um, what you want, bro? Margaritas, my baby. You need to you ask eat him. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah. Alright, let's go get this. How you doing, man? I'm good. You and me both. I probably you never heard like such a good interview, huh? Do y'all still have the super nachos? Do y'all still have the super nachos? Okay. Super nachos, huh? <laughs> Thank you. 
What a day. Bro, I'm so sorry. I went off on you earlier. No, you're good. You're good. No, not really. I'm not good. I didn't I'm, feel like you went off on me. I didn't double dip on that if you want. Oh, okay. Um No dude, I like seriously, like right after you because I got I got done talking with Homeboy and um I uh but it just it just made me mad. I don't know why. I just got to think about things. Yeah. I I shouldn't say it made me mad, it's just like we put, just put so much effort into this, you know, just to just have it all fall apart like this. It's frustrating. But, you know, you made a lot of really good points, you know, yesterday and things like that. Um, I mean, for me, like stuff like tonight pisses me off. Well, what, what about tonight? Why wouldn't you tell me I'm going to be short $200? Now, mind you, you told me about the refund. You told me about the exchange. You know what I'm saying? You showed me. It was like I had a refund. Da, 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 da. But you didn't, you know, it was just like flipping conversation. I just feel like people, I just feel like, I feel like he doesn't care anymore. And he doesn't care how his actions affect anybody else. And that's where I get pissy with him. But ultimately, Trying to save him to make you look ineffective. Yeah, it didn't do me any, you know I mean? any, any bit of good the other day. No, it didn't do me any good whatsoever. Um, and then the next time that you really need to make that call for one of us. I've already, right, right, spent that. He just shit all on it. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that he did that. No, I'm not going to say that. I mean... I know he was out. I wouldn't have done it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. You should have gotten good. How's yours? Mine tasted good, but it seems a little weak. It is. That's why I got the shot. <laughs> you know, split the shot? Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Thank you. That's another reason I go to Katrina Real. <laughs> there's, there's this perfect thanks, love. Dude, I'm telling you what, that's She's a um, Sprint customer. Who is? She is. Yeah, of course, everybody's a Sprint customer. Um, <laughs> or used to be, rather. That's a Mayan Riviera or whatever I went to the other night. Mm -hmm. dude, that, that was, by, I mean, best margarita, best food. Yeah. I mean, it's in Mount Pleasant, dude. It was amazing, though. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, it was good. 
That's why I'm here right now, because I've been thinking about it, but I didn't want to drive all the way to <laughs> Mount Pleasant. I don't know. Yeah, dude, I, I feel bad, because, like, after you and I got off the phone earlier, like, I was in the middle of, like, um... You ever just have one of those days where it's just, like... One of those days where you're meant to have those days. It's, 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 it's like... Like the weirdest things, just like the weirdest things. Um, Today? Yeah. Thank you. Good gosh, man. Super nachos. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, let me get this to go. <laughs> Those are some super ass looking nachos. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to get in on this. Let me let me let me get this in. <laughs> mm. These super nachos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where to go. Where do where do I start with this? Wherever. All right, I'm gonna. Okay, all right. It looks like I got a piece of everything here. Mm, I'll be right back. It's good. Hello. Yeah, you see that dude's entire ass out. Anthony, a lot of people say that it's nice to finally meet you. Uh, what happened, y'all? Put a put a put a face put a to face the name. To, mm -hmm. to the voice. It's an ugly face, but we can put it with it. Those are pretty good. They're pretty good. So I'm a preacher of habit when it comes to restaurants. I find what I like and that's what I stick with. Yeah. Once I got these, I was done. Yeah, the steak's pretty good. Usually like when you get stuff like that and like you got steak on it, it's like usually tough or like mm -hmm. um Oh no, that's actually really good. One of the first times, well, actually, the, actually, the last time I ordered these, they sat there and got soggy at work. You did get some of those. Mm -hmm. That's where I came and I ordered these. Go dash and as soon as they came in, and Jason wouldn't let me go eat. I was so pissed. Have you heard from him at all? Jimmy Yeah. Butter hot sauce for y'all? Um, I'd um, like some hot sauce. I'm good. Thank you. So the white guy's asking for hot sauce? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this full. This is be a little bit of a spot, bro. She's the chimichanga the lover. Whenever we go to a Mexican restaurant, it's Asha Beach. I had my first, like, chimichanga the other night. This is completely different than the other one. <laughs> like, dude, they had... Everything said I did presentation. Mm -hmm. It's okay. What is this? A piece of bacon? <laughs> um. Oh, okay. No, no, I haven't heard from Jason. It's better for his ass beat, though. Honest to God. You know I'm not a violent person, but he's still running around with his mouth. A little bit more than he probably should. Oh. I don't know. Uh, it, the fact that. I don't give a, if he's breathing and hasn't paid me my damn money at this point, like it's pissing me off. You want me to make a call? I'm not, it might come to that, actually. Marin says, you remind her of her mama's friend and that she loves your energy. Oh, thank you. Hopefully he's an awesome person. You want some of this? No, no, no. I mean, what I've been trying to do, it's, so you remember when I was telling you, like I felt a little burnt out a little bit the other day? Mm -hmm. It's coming from 
Like it was fun. Not really been able to enjoy myself at work anymore. Right. But it's like I know I bring the energy in the environment. It's It's hard to tell what Jessica is at anymore. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. It's hard to tell where she is. But I've noticed she hasn't been making the same type of jokes. I mean, other than quitting, of course. But I think we all, I mean, I make that joke from right. time to time, but I mean, she's going through it. And, um, Whoa. What is that? Yeah, a little bit of attitude up there. Okay. Mm. Such a weird day though, man. Like found out, you know, little baby's friend died today. So, I, he wasn't actually dead when I first talked to him. He passed away later this morning. I thought that was your friend. Hers or, it's, well, oh, they grew up friend? together. I met him to her. Don't get me wrong, he was my friend, but it's like, they went to Boys and Girls Club and school and camp. And, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they, he was her bully and became her homeboy type of deal. Like, you know, and then, he was actually, him and his girlfriend were one of the couples that the baby would play with from time to time. And so, you know, I mean, like I said, I mean, I was new to guy. We kind of fell out a little bit over some, he just kind of changed, you know what I mean? Like, because he was a hustler. And, you know, you started trying to treat me like I was one of your clientele, and they don't fly with me. You know what I mean? I don't care how much money you got, Deal with me like I'm me. And so we just kind of drifted apart. But that and then, I don't know if you know who the rapper Young Dolph is. Um, but he got he shot out at a cookie store. Yeah. But like, why does everybody think I'm like 90 and like have no <laughs> idea what's going on? He, um, he is the first one of the first celebrity deaths to actually affect my children. Really? Yeah. My, my older children were real Dolph fans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, other than Michael Jackson, like my daughter said, since she hadn't really been affected by any celebrity deaths other than Michael Jackson, but this one really hurt her. Interesting. I'm a 16 year old. She was a XXX Tentacion fan. And that didn't bother her? That bothered her. But I hadn't talked to her about the Dolph thing yet. I understand it though because I'll never forget. I was at Hampton Mall, 1996, when I found out Pop got killed, and I cried. You know what I mean? Like we were in a jewelry store, and you know how they have the radio or whatever playing in the background or whatever. When they announced his death, I was told for a week. Yeah, like I was, I was real life sad. Like I felt like I lost a good friend. That's how I felt when Kurt Cobain died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, I'm gonna lose that same shit when Betty White dies. Just letting you know, yeah. <laughs> heads up. Yeah, that's that one's gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. No, man, I just don't. I don't, don't understand why. I don't understand the push to be mediocre. You know what I mean? No. Like, I understand a person not hitting certain levels or being at certain levels, right? I understand the person's capabilities or abilities may plateau or cap out at a certain point. I don't understand the drive to be mediocre. I don't understand I do. the drive to be... I don't understand the, the amount of work that you put in not to not work do you get what I'm saying? I no, and I totally understand the drive to be medi mediocre. I know that. I know why that why that is. Come on. I know exactly what you're talking about. 
why would someone come into work, spend all that time there? Just to not do your job. Exactly. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because it's easier to go back and eat a sandwich. It's easier to go back. Like, that's that's aggravating. Like, it's aggravating to deal with that, that customer. It's aggravating. Like, it, it's so much easier to go out by Beaver Creek and, you know, have a cigarette or, you know, whatever. Like, it's it's the, it's gotten so bad that the lack of effort, it, it, the little bit of effort it takes to make so much freaking money. You're going to be there anyway. I get what you're saying. Like, what your, your whole perspective, and that's, that's why you have the badge you have. You know, that's why we're sitting here eating, you know, <laughs> nachos, and chim- nachos and chimichangas. <laughs> and they're at home, you know, eating their Raymond noodles. But, um... Thank you, by the way. Thank you. Happy to. Anytime, man. Um, you, you, you come to work to work. You, you have a whole different respect for things, you know, and... We've got we've got people now that are just like ah, you know oh, I'm just gonna come in and it, it it's just just like just get through the day it's just it's just make it as easy as possible. Let me take that hour long lunch break. Let me let me. Like they, they, they don't want to take the time or effort to actually make the money. You're gonna be, be honest. There. Jessica doesn't. Jessica sells because she's the first at the door. So I'll take that all day long. No, we need but, someone like that. But it's like. It's been a week, and I still gotta say, do a hint check. Do you see the shout out you guys got it? I did. Got it. I said, got it. I, I saw it. I heard it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We're at the uh, either 54 or 59 percent. Let me turn that. Let me turn that shit right around. Cause I fussed and fussed and fussed and and, and interrupted transactions and you know what I mean, like look. Bro, until you put a hundred pounds worth of shingles on your shoulders and climb two stories for nine, ten dollars an hour, until you had your back lock up because you're holding a concrete gun, until you, you know what I'm saying? Until you, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand not doing the little easy shit. I work my ass off at these jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've I've I went home sore at 19, 12, 23, 24 years old. You know what I mean? When I should be a healthy young man, and I can't hardly walk, and, and it's for nine, ten dollars an hour, and then you come in here and you make. Make. Yeah. Um, if if nothing else, I guess what I'm. If nothing else, why not just keep motherfuckers off your back? You know what I mean? Like. I don't know. Jessica still ain't got another TFB. Why? You see what I'm saying? Why? Like, are you making a purposeful stance? Because the last time I talked to her, I said, it was. It is. It was. It's a purposeful stance. And so then when somebody getting your shit, now all of a sudden you a victim. What fuck you in your victimhood? I'm not being funny when I say, you know, fuck you. But it's like, I I have no regard for that because it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. And if I, I feel like sometimes I feel like, now mind you, I don't, you know, don't go barking and yelling at folks. You know what I'm saying? But if I should be able to look at you and say, if I ask you to do your job one more time and you don't write me, do you understand what I'm saying? Um, Anthony, welcome to tomorrow. I'm so done with it. Uh, like I'm, I'm not even talking. I'm not even talking sweet about nothing. I'm telling you what. You come in. Come in your afternoon shift and take a lunch break. Well, look when the when the openers leave. Get huh? it done. Everything's changing tomorrow. I'm I'm sick of it. I'm done. But see, the um, thing is, if no, we um, if we don't, whoever we bring in is going to adopt the same bullshit mentality done. that it's, we're fighting. I'm telling you what. I hope everybody had a really really good day today <laughs> because I promise you, everybody's day tomorrow is going to be not as good. I am I am not, I'm absolutely not playing. I was playing at first actually. I think I was. I think I was playing a bit. Um, I know this is going to sound fucked up. On some levels, I'd rather have Cam sometimes. Who? Cam. You are talking about Murphy's Bro Cam then. Do you know why? No. At least this fuck up was natural. He was just stupid. 
It wasn't. A, it wasn't a willful. It wasn't. He was no, no. He was no, just sir. stupid. Cam just, was just a fucking just get idiot. Right back to your nachos. You're, that, <laughs> hell no. I'd rather have Cam fuck up than another person's dismissal of what to do. Cam, I can I can work with stupidity. If it's an issue, no, of, sir. If it's an issue of skill, I can work with that. I can't work with an issue of will. Not without bumping the heads, you know. Yeah, man. Um, hell no. <laughs> no, sir. You know I'm fucking police, right? <laughs> I be going around killing niggas and shit. <laughs> I was wet, bro. Are you serious? I couldn't believe he said that mm -hmm. to a cop. Um, and he didn't, he didn't just make a little slight comment. I mean, no. he came at it. Yeah. Like, it was like consistent and sustained and thorough. I don't know, man. I just, I don't. It'll be all right. I mean, that, that, that COVID girl or whatever her name was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. And she pissed me off from like 20 seconds in. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm like playing that. What the hell is this hot sauce made out of? Hell juice? You know, like, I'm serious. It's I just hot. put a little bit on. Yeah, it's, shit. it's. I need sweat. No, I put like two. Fools keep it happening. A little bit. I'll tell you how serious I am, Anthony. And I'm gonna let you know on my little secret. When did you do that? Tonight? Just about an hour ago. This is what I'm gonna give you something I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna tell you what. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna feel her. People are gonna feel pieces. I'm not even playing. That's, that's how deep this went. And it just, it's so frustrating to me because who have I been unfair with? Who? Yourself. Completely and totally. Outside I, of that, no one. I've sit, I, I literally sat on like, I've had everybody with the exception of yourself come to me and say like, hmm. I'm not sure if this is going to work out much longer for me. I, I guess Ethan, you know, but he's new. Mm -hmm. And it's not like we're working with 50 people, but. Right. But everybody with, has. Cash and gold. Mm -hmm. Schedule the money, this, that. I'm like, I told everyone, like, what are you going to do with your college ass or your, your high school ass diploma? What, what are you going to do? Where, where, where can you make this kind of money? Like here in this area, you, you what are you digging dishes? You you, you build you cars. Dope in this area. Yeah, well, you know what? At the end of the, the day, at the handset store, you don't have to worry about going to jail. Right. Whatever. No, I'm I'm not gonna say I, that was one thing that used to drive me crazy about Jason is like you'd be halfway through a conversation, then whatever. <laughs> I absolutely hate that. I hate it when people say that. Whatever. I mean, so, here I go with one of my stories. Let's do it. Let's hear it. When I was growing up, you know I was raised by my grandmother and great-grandmother. I wasn't raised by my parents. And my grandmother was sweet as a sugar sandwich. My great-grandmother, on the other hand, which was me. She, she was. She was just fucking me. Um, and she would take every chance she could to remind me that if it wasn't for her, you know, telling where I'd be... My wife, my mama ain't shit, my daddy ain't shit. I buy your food, I buy your clothes, da 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 da, right? Every fucking chance she got. And so I have a thing about about people being able, being able to hold something over my head. I will get out of your car and walk 10 miles before I let you make me feel like you're giving me a ride out of spite or discomfort. I don't allow anybody to hold anything over my head ever. There's no situation where if I feel like you're holding something over my head, I won't let you know immediately that I'll fuck that off. Right? Like, I'll, I'll, yeah. oh, that's how you feel? You can have it. You can keep it. Now what you do? You know what I mean? And so I feel like 
I feel like they've used us needing people to push and pull and prod and get. And I, you know, like I told you two months ago, I'd rather just let you go than to have you, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're going to leave, well, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to be here. When are you going to put in your two-week notice? You know what? You just made me think of something. What's that? We can do short hours all the way down to where we keep that thing open four hours a day. We can, if we needed to. So, you know what? We'll have this conversation off campus. <laughs> <laughs> the sinister urge just came over me. Mm -hmm. Oh I mean, boy. I mean, ultimately, man, what it is is, you know, I know, I know I can be a little high-handed sometimes. I know I can. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do think that I do think that that has kept me out of positions where people can hurt me. Even my ex, the dark skinned girl with the red hair. Big heavy set girl, the uh, Tahitian, my ex. We literally broke up. We became exes because whenever she would get mad, she would holler. Well, not whenever, but the last few times we got into it, she would holler, You can get out. I'm not from here. I don't have any friends here. I don't have any family here. I don't have a person that I know in this county other than little baby. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, it was just her. I, I knew her and her family. I didn't know nobody else here. And, but remember I told you you can't hold shit over my head. And so I told her, I said, listen man, the very next time you tell me get out, I'm getting out. The very next time we get into it and I ain't put my hands on you, I ain't yelled at you, I ain't screamed at you. You know, we just having an argument. When you holler, you can get out. I'm gone. I'm, I'm done. Um, and she said it. You know, about, about a week later, hurt my feelings. I was, I was caught off guard by the audacity and all of that. But at the end of the day, I packed my clothes. I said, can I, can I stay to Friday? She said, yeah. Thursday night, I packed my clothes up. I went to my mama's house. I was still working at Ibex. I was driving from Antioch to Ibex every, every day. I did that for about two mm -hmm. weeks. Antioch? Mm -hmm. My mama lived in Antioch. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Good God. But yeah, man, um, so I did that for about two weeks. And I started looking for a place. And it took me a couple of months to find a place. Um, and I did it. You know, I didn't get along with my mom's boyfriend and none of that. But see, I got my place. That's when I got the one bedroom for 450 and all of that, right? Best thing I ever did. Because as long as I was in a position to where she could use that, she would use it. Mm -hmm. The moment I took it away from her, you want to help me buy furniture? You giving me pots and pans? And, you understand what I'm saying? When it's like, she literally had the gall to say, well, I did it so you would be motivated to do something for yourself. Never mind the fact that I'm taking $20, $30 out of my check for myself and handing it over. I, I, you know, I don't care about money. You know what I mean? And so, as long as I can get my drinks and smokes, pay the bills. You know what I mean? Child support's getting what they get, so my kids are at least decently straight. You know what I'm saying? At least gas and food ain't a problem, right? Clothes may get taken care of. So I don't really care about money, but you're going to tell me you did that to motivate me. No, you did that to hurt my goddamn feelings, and you didn't think I would step away from it. Right. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what they're doing at their job, man. It's it's just like you said about disciplining a child earlier. Yeah. There has to be some form of, some, some form of structure for them. Yeah, and that's the same with women, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know it. It is. You know it. It is. A woman can always leave a nice guy, but it's so hard to leave someone someone to punch you in your face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I just... I just think if that's taken off the table, people have, what do they call it? Keep them honest. It, it keeps them honest. You know what I mean? If you take away a cheat sheet, they're, they're, you know, oh, I'm gonna quit. Bye, bitch. Uh, I mean, seriously, if we have to shut that thing down, because we're not making gold, give me an excuse. Yeah. Let's shut it down. Give me an excuse. Oh, everybody leave. 
Because we're down to two, we can't stay open. Say again. Give me a reason to have an excuse for not making gold. I mean, I think that would teach a real life lesson. Toy Bloom, shut the store down. Hey, listen, man. Y'all not working? And we're not going to make gold. Oh, that's another genius idea. You know what I mean? Just shut the fucking store down. Y'all go home. I'll call you when it's time to come back in. We just hang out. You're not going to hang out. What do you mean? the door lock? Go home. Get out of here. Dude. You know what I mean? Like, because see, one of the things, too, is that hourly is given. It's guaranteed. As long as you're clocked in, you're going to get your hourly. Genius. Only the only downside for me on that, it's not really a downside. Cause no, honestly, there's not. It, Ethan, well, maybe for you. Well, no, Ethan. But then, you know, I, I, I'm starting to see. I want to get um, I want to get Sharika's food too. I got it. I really want to get it. Yes, sir. Okay. I really, really do appreciate all you do. Thank you, man. I thought maybe you know, like she would be out, and, but like seriously, like get whatever you and get something to go. Whatever. Your young ones at home. Get them something too. They're done. There's, I made tuna casserole last night. They've already eaten. Maybe there's a dessert they might like or something. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't trying to ignore y'all. I just thought you guys might be interested in what one of my business conversations look like. Um, Anthony is my right-hand man. I count on him. Um, we run a, a really successful store. And it's stressful at times, and we gotta make tough decisions, and I thought it would be interesting. I got his permission to record this. Um, everybody that we talked about knows that this is being recorded, and probably everybody's watching. Uh, I just thought I would share that with you. I'm gonna rock up out of here. It's 8 30. Um, we'll probably do the night live at 10. Unless Miss Helen wants to stream. I probably should have called her and see if she wanted to use the airwaves this evening. But, um, my bad. But, um, Thank yeah, you, I'm gonna head up out of here. So, y'all take care. No problem. Anything you wanna say, Anthony? <laughs> y'all are some of the most awesome, funny fans. My girl and I sit back and watch the live sometime and crack up at the comments. You guys are great. You guys are great. Nice.